If you're still using Synaptics to control your input devices, you'll have no trouble at all to change your mouse scroll speed. But if you've switched over to something like Lib Input, you'll notice that this option is actually missing. So today, we're going to be looking at a program to address this problem called I'm Wheel. So if you're new to the channel, you know what to do and let's jump right into it. So I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, then you probably don't have it installed. So let's just get that installed first up. So if you are on Arch, it is available in the standard repo. So we can just go sudo pacman s I'm wheel and install that like that. So I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to worry about that. But what does this program actually do? So I mentioned that it can control your mouse scroll speed, but it can do a few more other things. So a few more other things, it can do some other things, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, we'll look at some of these other options a bit later, but you can do things like flip your mouse buttons and a couple of other things. But the one we really care about today is just controlling your scroll speed. So the way that you do this is through an RC file that's in your home directory. Now, I don't think there's a way that you can move this. I, I know that some programs do let you move them, but the config option in here doesn't let you move that. So unless I've just missed something, I don't believe you can actually move it from your home directory. Now, it's a little annoying, but I've already accepted the fact that my home directory is a complete mess. So I'm just going to live with that. Now, let's just have a look at that config file and see what it contains. So I've changed mine a, quite a bit. So when you actually make it, it's going to be empty. It doesn't actually generate anything for you, but it's pretty easy to work out how this works. So you can look at the man page, but the man page is really long and there's a lot of it you don't really need to care about. So how does this actually work? What you can see here is we've got a bit of a regex statement and then I've got some names in here. So I've got Discord, SpaceFM, Zathura, Kitty and Library. So the way this works is it does a regex search on a window class name and then it will apply these rules in here to that window. So this first one we are saying at the start of the line either have Discord, SpaceFM, Zathura, Kitty or Library and then end the line. So basically that just means have one of those options on that line and nothing else. So that's pretty easy to work out. Now you can do more complicated statements if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend using very basic rules and applying the rules like this. The other option you can do, I also wouldn't recommend this, is doing dot star. Now the problem with doing dot star is it's going to apply that to every single program. So unless you have it right at the top, what it's gonna do is it's gonna apply those rules and then basically override every single other rule that you have. So you could put any of these rules in here as well. So as I said, you can do dot star if you want to say have the exact same rules for every single program. I just wouldn't recommend it just because it's a bit harder to configure if you do it like that. So what about these rules in here? They shouldn't be too complicated, so we should be able to see how it works pretty easily. Now this first column we have in here on this left side here is the modifier key. So if we look at the man page for I'm Wheel, I'll, there is a list of all the modifier keys that it supports in here and what their names are in the program. So you have Shift L, Shift R, Control L, Control R, Alt L, Alt R, Meta L, Meta R, Super L, Super R, Hyper L, Hyper R. Now some of those keys might not be mapped to things. Obviously you're gonna have to check on your keyboard what's actually mapped to stuff. Oh, you, I guess you can also do caps lock, num lock, multi key and mode switch if you want to do those. So as I was saying, some of those might not be bound to anything. So just make sure you check what actually is bound on your keyboard. Now the next option is the direction. So you can do up, down. I believe you can also do left and right. So as I was saying, yes, you can do up, down, left, right, and thumb. I, I have no idea what thumb means. Thumb last time I checked was not a direction, but I, I could be wrong. This is you're doing modifier none on the direction up and the button that you want to be mapped to that. So I've got button four, so that's just my regular scroll up, but I could bind that to scroll down if I wanted to. And then the last thing we have in here is the speed. So this is in units. It's not a specific type of unit. It's a scroll speed unit. This will depend on the actual program. So in a terminal, this means lines in something like Discord or other web apps. It's sort of defined however it's defined in that program and same with other programs like GIMP, for example, when you scroll, generally you're going to be scrolling with things like zoom levels. So that'll be defined in GIMP. So I think by default scroll is like 5% or something. So if you were to do uh, scroll speed three in GIMP, that would be scroll 15. Or if you did scroll speed three in your terminal, instead of doing one line, it would scroll three lines at once. And this is the case for any terminal apps you run as well. So if you had Vim open, it would then scroll three lines at once in Vim. 
So let's look at a bit more of a complicated example in this brave block right here. So when I hold down the shift L key and I scroll up, interpret that as shift L and button four, and then also run that at scroll speed three. Now the reason you have to include this is because you can actually change this. So if you wanted to treat this as like control L or something, you could do that. So when you hold shift L, it's actually, so when you hold shift L, it's actually treated as a control L button four scroll. I wouldn't recommend changing your keys here. I would recommend doing it somewhere like maybe X mod map or somewhere else like that. Because if you start changing your key bindings in multiple places, it's going to get very difficult to actually work out where stuff's being bound. Now, if you're just doing mouse bindings in one place and just doing keyboard bindings in another place, I guess that's fine. Personally, though, I like the default mouse mappings. I just like to change my mouse scroll speed. If you're just going to keep the scroll speed at one, one thing you do need to keep in mind is that Iron Wheel actually will basically eat all of your scroll events. So you're going to have to actually pass scroll through events into the program, even if you're not going to be using them. So for things like basic scrolling, it seems to let those go through just fine. But for the modifier scrolling, it will basically eliminate those events. So any program where you do want modifier scrolling, for example, your terminal or maybe with Brave where you want to like zoom in on an image, you're going to have to pass that through even if you don't want to actually change the scroll level. So if you don't want to change the scroll level, you can put one in here or you can just opt to leave it out. Now I've got a special block here for ST. With ST, with my build, you have to do a modifier scroll. So I've got that bound to Alt L. So I have to remember to pass that through. And because I want my scroll speed to be higher than the basic scroll speed, I also have to set a scroll speed level. One thing you're probably going to want to do is have it so Iron Wheel actually runs on boot. Now there's two ways to do this. So we have the good way and we have my way. So I'm going to show you the good way first and then we'll get to my way in just a moment. So the good way to do this is to do it as a system D job. So this is set up as a user job. So you do this within your .config folder. Now, if you've never set up a user job, you'll have to set up this file tree yourself, but it's, it's just a file tree. You can do that and then name it, whatever you want to name it. This is just named I'm wheel.service. You basically start the same way that you start a system level system D job, but you also have to include the dash dash user option. So just follow this through if you want to do it with the system D method. Now we're going to show you how to do the easy method. So the way I do it is like with a lot of other things, I just chuck it in my X in it RC. It works. It works well. It, you might as well do it like that. Now you don't actually have to fork it into the background like this because it actually does it itself. So if we run it like this, as we can see, it doesn't actually lock up the terminal. So we have scroll speed working as it should be now. Now I just have it in there just because it's habit just on the off chance that after an update it changes, but you don't have to include the ampersand there. I just do it from habit as I was saying. I would have liked to show you some bindings with mouse button six and seven, but I'll show you something. So this is my really cheap mouse. This is mouse button seven. Probably hear that, it sounds like a, a mouse click. This is mouse button six. Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't have a mouse button six on this mouse. I, d I don't know why I don't have a mouse button six. So I'm not gonna show you that. Now, one thing I should probably mention is that I'm wheel is a little flaky from time to time. So occasionally it'll stop working for no reason whatsoever from what I can see. But generally it works pretty well. Now, on those times where it does break, you're gonna have to restart it because what's gonna happen is it's gonna keep eating your key presses, but it's not gonna worry about your config. Now, I'm not really sure why it does this, but I also haven't really found a better way to do scroll speed. If someone has a better alternative besides Iron Wheel that doesn't crash from time to time and doesn't keep eating your key presses even after it does crash, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do a video on that one and I'll probably switch to it straight away. But this is the only one that I could even find that does this. Now, I know that I could go back to using Synaptics, but the problem is Synaptics isn't really maintained anymore. And because of that, I think it's probably better to stick with libinput. I know that at some point there have been talks of adding scroll speed to libinput. I don't know why it's not there, but for some reason it's just missing. Now, it's really annoying that it is, but I am happy that Iron Wheel does exist. If someone has a better alternative though, as I said, 
let me know about it and I'll be more than happy to use it. Even if it's just your project, I will happily promote it because Iron Wheel is, as I said, flaky and besides that though, it's really easy to configure. So I would really recommend using it if you do want to control your scroll speed, but just keep in mind that it is pretty flaky. So I think that's pretty much everything for this video. So if you like this video, then remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, then remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm now aiming for 10,000 subs and any help be really appreciated. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist this video's in. So go check that out if you want to see other videos like this. Down below, I've got my social links. So that'll be my Discord, my Telegram and all of that sort of stuff. So go check that out if you want to get video updates or you want to chat with me. I've also got my support links down below, so that'll be my Patreon and various other support links, so feel free to check those out if you do want to support the channel. But as always, if you don't want to, then you don't have to, but any help will be really appreciated. And lastly, I've got my alternate video platform, so that'll be my BitTube and my library. So go check those out if you want to see my videos on a platform that isn't YouTube. So I think that's pretty much everything for this video, so I'm out.